everyone this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I have the second from the last holiday series box for you and this one um, holds four of those Fer Ferro Ferrero Rochers if that's how you say it I don't even know how you say it but they're these li the little truffles and I love the little window in it so you can see it it looks very elegant to me but um, this is the box that I'm sharing. I have one more project for in the holiday series. Then I'm going to start sharing some sneak peeks of our new occasions catalog that's coming in January. And there's so many great things in that catalog. So I want to share as much as possible. So this is the second from the last box. Then this is the one I'm sharing today. And I love this little box. It's super cute. So anyway, let's get started. So what I'm using for this is I'm using the Stampin' Up! Extra Thick um, Whisper White Cardstock. And this is, this is new this year, but I love this. This is perfect for making boxes. And this piece is 6x6. Six six. Then you're going to need a piece that's 5x5. Five five. You're going to need a piece that's 55 x 3 and then one piece that's three by two and a half. And this is all for the box construction. And then for your matting, you're going to need one piece that's two, uh, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then four that are two and seven eighths by seven eighths. And that's for the matting of the top of the lid. And then for the bottom, we're going to mat that at one and three eighths by two and seven eighths. And this is the season of cheer. Um, designer series paper that I'm using and it's super pretty together so anyway let's go ahead and get started with scoring and we'll just go ahead and score all our pieces and then we'll mat it and get it together okay so the top the bottom of the box is six by six and we're going to score that one and a half and then four and a half and then you're going to turn it and score it again at one and a half. And four and a half. Okay, so then let's go to our five by five. And this five one is at one. And at four. And at one, turn it. And at four. And this is for the lid. Okay, so these other two pieces are for the inside dividers. So this piece is five and a half by three, and we are going to score it at one and one half. And this is on the five and a half inch side. And then you're going to score it at two and three quarters. And then at four. And this is just going to fold like so. And this will be the inside divider, part of the inside. And then this one, we're just going to score in half at one and a quarter. And this one, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and mark it in half um, and we're going to do that and I forgot to mark it to let me see I forgot to mark it on my thing this is three inches so we're going to do it at one and a half I totally forgot that right away <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're just going to I just use my my cutting tool and then I'll do the other side because this is thick and I just snip up and you want to go pretty close to the top you're just going to leave a little tiny bit right there and this is going to fit on there just like this when it's inside the box and it'll hold together um, I'll show you here in a minute okay let's go ahead and score, uh, sharpen all our score marks on this and of course, I have three bone folders 
And not one of them is in my sight right now. Here we go. And we're going to just sharpen all these score marks. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut these. And how we're going to do this is we're just going to go up this side. And I always cut a little sliver out of the flap. And then we're just going to rotate it. do the exact same thing on our lid piece. So let's go ahead and mat these, and I'll speed up the video um, so that you won't have to watch me mat every piece. And you, we want to start with this smaller piece, which is the lid. Our piece is matted, and I need to take this to the big shot and I'm going to use one of my circle framelits, which I forgot to bring over here to show you, but I'll bring it back after I um, use, uh, put the hole in it. I'll bring it back and show you which one that I used out of the, frame, the circle framelits. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now, and I ran it through the Big Shot, and this is the circle framelit that I used. These are the framelits and it's the fifth one from the center and it fits perfectly and then we're going to need a piece of window sheet and I didn't I don't think I told you what size that was this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters and I'm going to use some fast fuse so this stays on here really good And you'll just set that on a, make sure there's none up. And then just set that on there. And now we are got our hole in there for our window. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to put this boxes all together. And we're just going to put some adhesive. And use your um, two-way, yeah, your two-way glue, but your... Um, double-sided tape and use a strong one. You can use the tear and tape. I'm going to use the fast fuse. Um, this is pretty sturdy and I usually use the tear and tape but because it's the video I usually just it's easier for me to show you using this fast fuse. So you just put adhesive on all the corners and we're going to bring these up It's a very simple box. Love this paper. And I've been using the Home for Christmas a lot, and I totally forget sometimes to use this, but it's so pretty. It's really festive looking. And we're going to do the same with the lid. And the lid's going to fit pretty snug, and you really want it that way so it doesn't fall off on you. So here's our lid. And then for our inside pieces, this with the 
right in here real snug just push it down and then this center piece and I think I cut it a little bit too close will fit right over the top and it fits really good yeah see it came apart don't cut it as um, thin as I did leave maybe an eighth of an inch at the top um, I'm just gonna leave this but because it'll work and then you can put your candy in there it fits perfectly put your lid on and I have to sometimes just kind of like pull it a little bit because it fits super snug on here I just there you go but see it fits perfect but see that came apart so leave maybe an eighth not a quarter I think a quarter will stick up too far but I think it was about an eighth of an inch that I left when you cut it down the center so I messed that one up but I'll make another one so let's set that aside and I'm gonna grab some of this um, Knight of Navy and I'm gonna emboss my little snowflake here and the snowflake is from my project life Hello December 2015. It's this snowflake right here. I love this. Look at the little coffee mug. This is adorable and I haven't done my project life. Um, I just started doing it this year and I'm really having a ball with it. Now I think I'm going to start doing some videos on the project life because they're super cute. I'm going to grab some Versamark and I'm going to stamp that. And use your embossing buddy. I, when I'm doing my videos, I to always totally forget. And I'm going to use some white emboss. And then what I did was I sprinkled a little bit of Dazzling Diamonds on it. It just gave it a little bit of sparkle it actually stuck I didn't know if it would I hadn't done that before but um, it looked really pretty so I'm going to emboss that super quick okay so I don't know if you can see that really good in the camera but it does sparkle and I guess when it melts it holds the dazzling diamonds in there it's really pretty and then I'm going to use my label bracket punch and I may have to cut a little bit of this off and I'm going to punch that out and then I'm going to put a little hole oh that's the big one And I'll bring this back over and the ribbon that I'm using on this I love this ribbon is the organza and it's the white whisper white here Let's see and I'm not gonna make the bow huge because I don't want it to block you know how pretty that looks inside when the candy is in there I think it'll fit any size truffle actually if you make homemade truffles um, I do that too at Christmas and it makes really, um, this will make a really cute truffle box or even cake balls I think would be really cute in here. And then I'm going to grab a piece of our silver cording and attach the little snowflake. And I actually left this long on it on it because I thought it was pretty. I love this. The silver cording is really pretty. So I just tied a knot in it and cut the ends about the same size. And I left it on there. So there you have it. 
And really, I mean, it doesn't take that long once you get going on them. They're really, really easy to make because the boxes are a really quick box. But um, I really love this. I think it's super adorable, and I hope you enjoyed it today. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com, and you can shop right from my blog. But I did forget one thing. I forgot my little jewel. I love these jewels. It's the iced rhinestones, our new iced rhinestones. And I'm going to just take one off and put one on the center. It really adds to it. So that's it. Anyway, thank you everyone. I hope that you're enjoying the holiday series and I will check I will catch you later. Bye.